things and where it's a cleanup or those sorts of things, um, it may be that those should move forward and ra rather than lumping all of these together in the, it won't move forward until there's a local coastal plan update. Um, you could direct that uh, I come back with those options laid out for you in the relative costs or you could direct some other process. It, this could be referred to a committee uh, to develop a, a, a plan, but having just gone through the process with the general plan update, you know, once we had an orderly process, I think that did work. And we now know that the general plan will be adopted by the end of the year. And after that, then the process for regular general plan updates will go to its regular process starting in January of 2009. We're in a different situation in the, in the coastal area. So we're looking at what do we do over the next two to three years, three or more years, as we're updating the local coastal plan and what do you want to direct staff to do and how do we want to relate to um, property owners who likely, <coughs> given that this has happened some period of time before, are, are somewhat frustrated at the lack of movement. So I've laid it out as best I can. The question is, how do you want us to approach it, and what information would you like us to bring back um, to, to address the situation differently than it's been addressed today? Allison, we have a number of uh, I'm willing that. participants here. <laughs> so, um, and I'm done with my report, so this is your discussion now. Okay. Supervisor Delbar was first, followed by Supervisor Pinches, and then co -Pines. Thank you. I don't... Ms. Glassy, I think first and foremost, it isn't up to us to try to second guess what the Coastal Commission will or will not do. And to sit on an application for a coastal general or a coastal plan amendment for one, two, or more years to this point today, mm -hmm. and then sit on them for what if, if the general plan's in an indicator of future performance, another five, six, seven, eight years, uh uh. No, absolutely no way. What we need is a coastal commission made up of people that are not political and actually look at the issues, but I guess you know, that's, that's utopia. That's clearly beyond the purview of so, the planning team. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, our local coastal plan, like a general mm -hmm. plan, is a 20-year lifespan. I'm actually not clear on that. That's a, that's a good question. Um, okay, I got some of the history. There was something, the last thing that happened, I think, was in the 80s, so it may be. Okay, so we need to find out when that lifespan is, start that process, but to hold up anything. And, and quite frankly, I'm, I'm, I'm not questioning whether or not the Coastal Commission, and I believe it would be the staff, not the Commission itself, mm -hmm. that would send a letter worded in the manner in which you, you described. That bothers me immensely that they would do that, because to me that shows a very closed mind in the, in the quasi-judicial process. And that's a shame if that's what we have, but again, I would not be surprised. I do, am very uncomfortable with the fact that we provided letters to applicants, both inland and coastal, that said, sorry, here's your money back, or come back and see us in a couple years. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work for me. We have a responsibility to process those, regardless of what the, the future approval may be by some other body. So we need to move forward with those, and I'm not interested in sending it to a committee. We don't, it doesn't need to take a committee to figure this out. And so our, we can figure this out now, where we want to go with it. That's where I am, and okay. we just need to get moving. It's been too long. Some of these folks have been waiting for way too long, and it's just not, it's not responsible for us. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Supervisor Pinch. Yeah, one of my questions, what is the timeline of the LCP? I mean, is it, uh, are we in the middle of it? Does it start in 80 like the general plan or, you know, but anyways, we don't know the answer to that. What are the boundaries of the LCP? Is it, it the coastal zone or does it come in? I mean, it, where does the general plan stop and the LCP start? I'm, I'm not sure the exact, but it's somewhere along the coastal ridge. It's somewhere so many miles in from the coast, and I think it may vary depending on where the ridge is. So I'm sure there's a map, and if you want, I, I could get that for you, but I don't think it's a set. Does the general plan overlap the LCP? Or are they definite? <coughs> LCPs here and I, I'm not sure here? the legal relationship the, between the two is the LCP considered a component of the general plan or vice versa well the, the LCP is an element of our general plan okay. but it really operates separately because the, 
policies are different, and it's ultimately subject to the Coastal Commission's approval, unlike this body's approval of the Inland General Plan. So, so my next question is, just like our general plan, we're eight years late on getting it adopted. Our general plan update, it should have been done in 2000. Well, there's really no, there's really no lifespan on it. I thought it was one for 80, and it had a 20-year update. It was supposed to be in 2000. Well, the, 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 the housing element is the only part of the general plan you're legally required to update on a regular basis. Um, Mr. Hall, I think, actually came to the board back in the early 90s to suggest that you might want to start stashing money away, and that's why that um, 2 or $3, whatever it is, it goes into the uh, vehicle license fee started to be collected with the expectation that eventually the general plan would need to be updated as you have private applications, obviously, and as you know, policies do change. So, so you, what you're saying is our general plan, we don't have to update it every 20 years? There, there is no legally required time period within which it has to be updated. That's good no. to know. So if there's, if, is it, that's the same with the LCP? Okay. I mean, are we under no obligation to start this? Sub subject to whatever, again, as Ms. Glass has indicated, the Coastal Commission does have uh, some supervisory jurisdiction there, and, and they've indicated in the past, for, as, as she's in, said, that uh, they would not process certain plan amendments until we had done a full update. But again, there, there's no bright line, you have to do it by this date, as there is with the housing element. The housing element, you do have to do every five years or get an extension from it. So the not community. necessarily do we have to start this LCP as soon as we get the general plan update done. Well, well I, it never hurts to, you know, keep these things up to date. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if I could just say. Well, my issue is strictly financial. I mean, you know, I mean, it's when you start down that road, it's you're spending a, a lot of general fund dollars because the state's not funding it. Well, so that's my it's strictly my my question yeah. is strictly aimed at the financial implications here. Actually, um. I guess we could look at whether those same general plan update fees that pay for the general plan update probably could be used towards the local coastal plan update. My understanding is when the local coastal plan was initially developed, it was done with grant funding. It was the first one that was ever done in this area and that they got funding through the Coastal Commission to do it. That's likely not going to be the case this time around. There is one difference. The general plan update was begun sometime back in the late 90s or so, and it just took this protracted time frame, which, and <coughs> quite frankly, there was quite a bit to do when it was handed to the planning team, but we are bringing it to, to a close. The LCP update, local coastal plan update, was never begun. So whatever the planning team does in 2009, they're starting from scratch. There isn't an existing contract. There's no work that's been done. Nothing. They're they're going from <laughs> you know zero to get up to sixty, um, and then going through the whole process. Supervisor Kofax. I want to pick up on uh, if, on this, and then I want to go back to something you said earlier. Uh, Supervisor Delbar said, "Oh, rather, you have suggested here that uh, perhaps we should have planning and building accepted process." some of the applications or some of the expressions of interest. Uh, what we have going on right now on the South Coast is uh, a uh, school project that uh, has spent $800,000. Uh, apparently nobody first or second or third guessed the Coastal, or felt the need to first, second or third guess the Coastal Commission. And the Coastal Commission has stepped in and says, uh, well, depending on what, what time it is today, uh, but as of uh, uh, last week, has said essentially, has convinced uh, those who have spent the money that maybe we just can't go ahead with a project. So what I'm wondering here is what, I use that as an example, it may be worked out, uh, the blame of course is being directed at the county uh, for uh, whatever reasons. The county wasn't 